always through people, through birds, through events, through nature, through children. Continuously, there is communication in between you and life because you're not separated from it. Always. The more your third eye opens, the more your heart opens to love, the more you begin to see that there is a complete communication going on here all the time. And you begin to see the magic and the miracle of life. You begin to see that what a miracle it is that you're alive and you're here and how blessed we are that we don't have, we don't run into disasters. Disasters don't happen in your life. It may happen to other people. You hear stories from other people, but it doesn't happen to you. And you become more humble. You start to see it. You start, you stop complaining that why I don't have this or why I don't have that. You begin to appreciate what you have really appreciating it, starting with appreciating your health. Anybody who's been healthy and has lost their health and suffered, they know that how, what a blessing it is to be healthy. What a blessing it is to be physically healthy and emotionally healthy. And of course, most of us don't appreciate it till we lose it. And hopefully we're able to gain it again, get it back. But, and the rest of the things. What a blessing it is that I can pick up the phone and call my mother and talk to her, hear her voice. What a blessing it is that I have friends. I can go to a coffee shop with my friends or go get together with them one night a week and play cards or go to a party, cook dinner together, having friends. A lot of people don't have friends. They don't have close people. Many, many lonely people on the planet. Very lonely, very isolated, very disconnected, suffering. And you look around and you see that, wow, I have my friends, I have my family, and you're humble, you have gratitude. You're thankful for having that. You're thankful for being healthy. You're thankful that you have a way for creating income. You can make money. And you don't have to go beg around or be homeless, or constantly trying to function from this survival place to pay your next rent. So you're grateful, you're very humble to life to put you in a situation that you can take care of yourself, whether you're working or you're not, or you're wealthy, whatever situation. Being grateful that we have intelligence. You can use your mind, your working mind, to use the computer, to buy something on online, to reserve a ticket, to, to travel, to go to places. That's a very good place in your spiritual growth when you come to being humble. You start to see the presence, Her Majesty, all over you and all the gifts that you, you have received. Looking at every gift that you have received and being really grateful for it. 
from very little things, from very, very simple things, you're simply grateful. You're not fearful. You're not operating from a fear that you may lose it or maybe existence is going to turn around and punish you. It's not that. You are grateful for everything you have. That's huge. And the more you become grateful, the less you complain. The more you're grateful, the more existence showers you with blessings. The more you're humble and grateful and you accept what is life takes care, you see that how life takes care of you, provides for you. Because life is responsible to provide for you. Existence is responsible to take care of you. You're its child. It has brought you into this life and it will carry you till the end, till the next phase, wherever you got to go. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to complain. It's all taken care of. When you start to see it that way and you're grateful, then it just keeps rolling in. Pieces fall into places. And you see how connected it is. You see how perfect it is. You see the magic of life. And gratitude comes. And slowly, slowly, if you're lucky, you go to the next stage through grace. You're, and you start to see that everybody is an aspect of yourself. Everyone is a reflection of yourself. You begin to see even the most evil people, the most dark, darkest people, you begin to see their aspects of your dark mind, aspects of your darkness, yourself, not separated from you, but a part of yourself, not them and you. And the, the light, people who are in light, saints, teachers, advanced spiritual beings, you begin to see that they're also a part of you. They're a reflection of yourself. You are looking at yourself in a very high state of consciousness and you are looking at yourself at a very low state of consciousness. 